Hello everyone, my name is Shaw Ashley. I am the director of the NMB Survivor Challenges and I am here with Meredith Chandler, who's our assistant director, and Johnny Fairplay, who competed in season seven and season 16 of Survivor. So Johnny Fairplay, tell us what you have been up to since you last appeared on the show. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, 88 television shows. Uh, I do uh, record six podcasts a week. I'm uh, uh, this uh, this coming week. I'm in I'm in New Jersey for a viewing party. Then the next week I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina for a viewing party. And then the next week I'm in Orlando, and then I'm in LA for the finale. And then I'm filming another show for ABC. And then I'm gone for a month in between January and February filming another show. So. <laughs> Very, so very, I'm very popular. <laughs> um, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> so why should we, you know, we have a, like you do with your podcast. I, you know, I've seen a lot of your posts in the survivor groups that I'm in and I've kind of done the same thing, getting it out to people who aren't necessarily in our area. And so we have a lot of viewers around the country and around the world, super fans of the show. So why should the viewers root for you during the competition? Uh, I, I'm fun. <laughs> I mean, there, there's a reason I've been on 80 shows. I'm entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we last time we saw you on Survivor, you know, kind of like Mariah, we were excited to see another chance, you know, for people since you haven't been back on the show. This is somewhat a little similar to see, you know, how it's evolved. So what are you most looking forward to during the competition? Uh, lying and backstabbing. <laughs> I dig it. hundred <laughs> percent. All right. Yeah. Take it away. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's my favorite part. So um, one of the things we do offer that they couldn't do back in the day is we have the option for a pregame alliance. And some of our players choose an authentic version where they're not engaged with the players before, but then some of them create a pregame alliance. What are your thoughts about that? I mean, people can reach out to me. I'm not going to reach out to them because I, 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 uh, I've, I have found through actual survivor. I mean, I, I flew across the country to meet with Yao Man and Penner. And uh, they're awesome outside of the game. And then as soon as the game began, they're two of the worst players I've, I've ever uh, had to communicate with in, in the history of Survivor. So, you know, it's, it's real easy to chat with someone, you know, on, on uh, Facebook Messenger and sound awesome. And then, you know, and then you meet them in person and they fart every 20 seconds. So, so yeah. So now feel free to reach out. But uh, <laughs> if, if you say you're cool, make sure you're cool. <laughs> I love it. So what do you think your biggest strategy is going to be then? The social piece, the strategic piece, or the competitive, like, gameplay piece? I mean, if you go back and watch Islands, I finished second on almost every single challenge. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I run half marathons. I, I run three to five miles every day. Uh, you know, I, I have uh, – I, I, I go to Planet Fitness every day. Uh, strategically, I'm one of the smartest players to ever play the game. Uh, and then I'm I'm entertainment. So I mean, there you know uh, what what you don't see on Survivor is ninety percent of the time we're just bored. And you know I'm TV when there's no TV. Okay. So, Sean, I think you're up next. Yeah. So look, I, I don't know if you've looked into the cast at all already. Do you notice any divides already? Maybe some groups or not have paid haven't paid too much attention to that. I mean, I, I check. I checked out uh, the the other players, so uh, there's there's some I'm keeping an eye out for, and, and some I'm not worried about. But uh, no, I've, I haven't noticed a divide. Okay. So, um, what have you done so far to prepare for the game? I know we're just getting started, but if not, what do you plan to do until we get out there in May? Just do what I do. I mean, I, I run every day and, and I, you know, I'm one of the greatest survivors of all time. So, I mean, I, I think I should be okay. <laughs> so what advice do you have for our new people, our newbies? We have some newbies who've never even seen the game. Learn how to make fire. If you don't know how to make fire, don't, don't, don't show up that, that Saturday. I mean, it's, just, it's that I like simple. 
Awesome. Well, you know, we're, we're 40 hours instead of 40 days, but that's still a challenge sometimes for absolutely. Yeah, no. So it, like, and anyone that, that thinks Survivor is easy, you know, and if you want to prepare for something like this, uh, go in your backyard with nothing and spend the night. And then the next day you tell me how easy Survivor is. I like it. Yeah. So, you know, like I said earlier, you know, obviously with you and the other tribe captains not being in our area, um, so you'll, you know, fundraising will be a lot different that way. But do you have, because this is, this interview is a great piece for people who don't know anyone to um, pick who they want to donate to. So do you have anything else you want to say to any of the public or our viewers before we wrap it up? Yeah, donate to me so I get some advantages. So I uh, I beat these uh, these other captains uh, and uh, and all the other people playing, and that I, I get the crown of uh, of sole survivor that I've that I've deserved since two thousand three. Awesome. awesome. Well, thank you so much thank for your you, time. <laughs> we appreciate you meeting with us. <laughs> thank you.